How's it going guys? Slightly different format as you can see. I'm recording with my laptop attached to my blue Yeti stereo microphone. Uh, I had to not use the regular microphone that I got for my DSLR because I was getting a bunch of feedback from something in here. I don't really know what. Well, long story short, I'm basically PewDiePie now. So sorry guys if you're expecting any weapon videos ever on my channel. I'm done with that. It's on to uh, Five Nights at Freddy's and Minecraft from here on out. So if that's not really what you're into, I guess, I guess it's time to unsubscribe. Just kidding. Today I'm going to be answering some comments that you guys have been asking a lot, but I've just been doing so bad with keeping up with my comments. I figured I owe it to you guys to make you a video instead of just some regular text responses. Uh, so today, this is very, very distracting watching Audacity record this audio. I am going to be answering your questions. So question number one, let's not waste any more time. Basically, I'm young and my parents don't want me using power tools slash making weapons. What do I do? I've gotten this question from you guys so many times from so many different people uh, and it's a really difficult question to answer because each and every single one of you uh, is in a different uh, standing with your parents like some of you guys have a long history of giving your parents reasons not to trust you with power tools uh, some of you guys are pretty neutral some of you guys are in good standing with your parents that's obviously gonna be better to be in neutral or good standing with your parents uh, but for any of those standings my main advice to you guys is really just show to your parents that Right now, you are responsible enough to handle power tools or to make weapons or to do whatever it is. I've been making weapons and using power tools since I was 12. Yes, my parents did know about it. No, they're not just neglectful parents who just let me do whatever they want. Uh, they definitely did a good job making sure that I wasn't getting hurt and stuff like that. Uh, but I never gave them a reason not to trust me with a power tool. So when I asked them if I could buy it, they were totally fine with it. But the best advice that I can give to any of you guys that are in the bad or the neutral or the good standing is just go up to your parents and just straight up say to them, look, I'm very, very interested in getting into the building community or just getting into building stuff, but I totally understand if you are not yet comfortable with me handling power tools or with this uh, specific type of thing that I'm wanting to make. So if I could please just ask you for the opportunity to prove myself uh, that I'm responsible enough to do these things, I would really, really appreciate it. And obviously word it in the way that you would actually talk to your parents. And then really from there, the most important thing is just leaving the ball in their court, all right? If you're asking them for permission to use power tools, it really has to be up to them when they decide you're ready to use them. So do not go up to them and give them that whole spiel. And then when they're like, hmm, all right, well, keep your room clean for a month, then you respond, Whoa! I would not let that kid use a power tool, I'll tell you that much. They may just be like, all right, keep your room clean for a week, or no no reso, if you've got Asian parents, they're probably gonna be like, all right, keep your room clean for the rest of the year, and also straight A's for the rest of the year. It all depends on how bad do you want it, guys. Like. How bad do you want this power tool? Are you just gonna give up and then just, you know, start getting a dirty room again? I hope not. It makes me happy when you guys are telling me that you're building stuff. I would really like to see a lot more of you guys building stuff. That's all the advice I got for that. Just prove to your parents that you're responsible. Question number two, I don't have a camera, but I want to make videos. What do I do? Uh, the obvious answer to that is buy a camera. Uh, but I'm willing to bet the question here is more, I don't have any money to buy a camera, what do I do? Um, the most important thing is you really have to make sure you're not being lazy. That means you're gonna have to be selling drugs, you're gonna have to be making uh, illegal weapons, because those are the most in demand, and selling them on black market websites. Not really guys, don't do that stuff. I'm just joking in case you can't tell. Pretty much the same answer as the last question. How badly do you want this, all right? Are you willing to save up all your birthday money? Are you willing to save up your Christmas money? Are you willing to give up Chipotle for a while? Like this really just weeds out all the people that want it and the people who say they want it, all right? I really wanted this camera, so I've waited I don't know how long has it been, like two years, two years uh, working at this YouTube thing and finally I'm able to afford this really nice camera. But since realistically a lot of you guys don't have a YouTube channel that's making money, you're just gonna have to find ways to make money. Go mow the lawn, uh, do whatever it is that you have to do, shovel driveways when it's snowing. It may take a while, but if you want it bad enough, you're gonna find a way. There's gonna be nothing that can stop you if this is really what you want. Question number three, moving into sassy territory, uh-oh. Uh, this guy comments on, uh, what was it, the $3 spear build video uh, he says how to make a three dollar spear with three hundred dollars worth of equipment uh, all right that's fair because um, I, I I honestly don't know where you're actually from I don't know uh, where that is but here on earth an angle grinder costs uh, thirty five dollars and a drill costs about twenty five dollars which is 
all the power tools that I used in the video. Uh, just like I've been saying this whole time, sorry if I'm answering all these questions the same, how badly do you want it? Because I have a feeling that if you put the amount of effort into actually working to buy some power tools as you uh, spend the time just you know thinking of excuses why you're not actually able to make this stuff i feel like you would have probably more power tools than me advice for you specifically don't be lazy don't sit around thinking of excuses as to why you can't make this stuff because you don't have you know 300 worth of equipment even if it did cost 300 if you wanted it bad enough that wouldn't even be a problem but luckily it doesn't cost 300 so i don't that wasn't even a question so i don't think i have to give an answer to it that's just me poning the haters Swag. All right, question number four. Why have you never made a sword? Uh, <laughs> have you seen my knife making video? In all seriousness, I haven't made a sword yet because I honestly don't feel like I can right now. Um, I feel like if I were to try to make a sword at this moment, it would end up a lot like my knife making video. You know, I've got the heart. The knife just didn't turn out that good like it i used the wrong materials i at least know the right materials to use i still would not be able to make the sword that i want to be able to make you guys to give you guys as good a video as possible but i promise you guys someday i will make a sword and it's gonna be freaking awesome all right question number five has been asked on pretty much every video that i've ever posted that had music on it what is the song you used at whatever time in the video straight up exactly as it said in the video all right every single time either a song comes in or when the bass drops in the song i put the name of the song at the bottom what's what corner is that gonna be like i think this side maybe this side i don't really know i put the song and the artist and everything so i don't see why you guys are still asking this question <laughs> question number six why didn't you use the bag for the armor in your armor build it would have been cheaper this has been a question that also a lot of people have been asking because they sort of misunderstood something that i said in my armor build video i'm talking about that old old armor build where i made that uh chest plate out of like street signs or it was something like that uh but at a part in the video i was talking about how you can really use anything for the base of it because I was using some motorcycle pads and then I was putting the aluminum on top of it. I was using the motorcycle pads as the base and at one point I made a joke about how you can use a plastic bag as a base. But apparently some people sort of misunderstood that and they thought what I was actually saying was you can make a really good suit of armor using a plastic bag and some like pieces of metal. That's not what I was saying. The point that I was trying to make is just that you have to be resourceful and use whatever materials that you have, but if you were to actually take a plastic bag and put aluminum or steel plates on it, guess what's gonna happen when you get hit? The bag is gonna rip. It's just not good armor, okay? That's why I didn't use the plastic bag in the video, though it, yes, would have been cheaper. It. I don't, I don't think I have to explain this anymore. Question number seven, is it bad that I'm 11 and I made this? I think somebody commented this on my scythe build video. Uh, I guess it's not bad that you're 11 and you made it. I think it's a little worse that you are asking if something is bad that is clearly not bad as an excuse to say your age so that you can fish for compliments. I feel like that's a little worse, uh, but if to, to answer your original question, yes, it is really bad and I'm calling the cops right now. All right, question number eight is sort of just asking advice on something. Uh, he says, angle grinder versus jigsaw, pros and cons. Angle grinders and jigsaws can oftentimes be used for a lot of the same things, uh, but there are definitely things that one will do better than the other. Just off the top of my head, uh, angle grinders are pretty much useless when it comes to cutting long pieces of wood. If you've ever tried cutting just a long piece of wood with a rotary tool with a ceramic disc, it just fills up your entire workspace with smoke. It just is the least efficient thing on earth. Jigsaws are just going to be a lot better for cutting like plywood and OSB and stuff like that, but an angle grinder is going to be better if you're trying to cut uh, small pieces of metal or big pieces of metal it's also very good for that and really just anything that is too small to like get the blade of the jigsaw going if you ask this question with the intention of uh, me giving you advice on which one you should buy I would definitely suggest buying both uh, but if you have to pick a first one I don't know I guess jigsaw I guess it's a little safer for beginners don't expect to be doing that much metal working with it though question number nine why do you have so many cinder blocks well it happened as a result of buying a lot of cinder blocks and if you are also the type of person that would ask this question on homemade weapons part three where I was cutting all those detergent bottles and you're like wow you must do a lot of laundry why do you have so many detergent bottles here's a little tip for your life if you ever want to stockpile empty containers of stuff you don't have to buy a million of them at one time and just dump them all in the trash uh, just wait until you use them put them aside 
I, I can't believe I have to explain this stuff. I heard you needed editing software. Why not just crack Sony Vegas? All right, real talk. At the moment, I'm using Adobe Creative Cloud. It's where you pay like uh, $50 a month to have access to like all the Adobe Creative uh, softwares out there like Photoshop and Audition and all, a whole bunch of other things. I think there's like near 100 other programs that I have access to now uh, by paying for that subscription. Uh, but a long time ago, I actually did crack Sony Vegas and I was using it uh, for a little while, uh, but I very quickly developed convictions on pirating software and stealing uh, uh, music and stuff like that and I, I just really don't do it anymore I mean uh, if it's not a conviction that you have it, I'm not like kicking your door down trying to uh, get you to change but for me I'm a Christian I know there's like a lot of debate as to whether or not it's like even considered stealing like oh you can't steal a bunch of ones and zeros like but you can steal work at least that is that is my conviction on it you can definitely steal work there are scriptures in the Bible that talk specifically about withholding payment from people who have done work to benefit you and even if it is not technically stealing my my lifestyle is just not to live as close to sinning as I can without actually sinning. Like, I would much rather figure out what is beneficial uh, than what is permissible. And just right now, at the moment where I've been blessed with enough money to actually be able to afford this software, I would much rather buy it uh, than just pirate it. Again, if it's not a conviction of yours, whatever, just don't don't be surprised when other people have convictions on that sort of thing is all I gotta say. And finally, the biggest question I have ever been asked, do you listen to country music? No. Alright guys, that's all I got for today. If you want to see more of these really quick, short Q&A videos, go ahead and ask your questions down in the comment section below. No, this does not replace Alpha Mail. If you still want to send me mail, go ahead and mail it to P.O. Box 1364, Elgin, Illinois, 60121, United States of America. This is just where I'll answer some questions, but I still definitely want to be getting letters and mail from you guys and stuff. Go ahead and ask whatever questions you want in the comment section below. I will pick out the good ones, and if your question sucks, then sorry. Uh, but that's all I got for today. So thank you guys very much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.